in terms of poaching, uh, maybe we use uh, the elephant and the and the, and the rhino in particular. Uh, last year we lost 96 uh, elephants to poaching and 11 uh, 11 rhinos. Uh, this year we've lost uh, 67 elephants and six rhinos, and this is just an indication of uh, the areas because. Uh, the effort is showing clearly that uh, the moment you start now working with other agents, the moment it becomes an element of uh, every, every Kenyan's business to ensure that uh, we are conserving, then of course now it means that people do not have that incentive. So if you're trying to go and do direct poaching in the field, you will meet with the communities, they own the wildlife much better now, and they are able to then uh, uh, put up a very strong case for protecting uh, that wildlife. Then you come to the law enforcement agents and everybody is involved. So whether you are meeting with the police or whether you are meeting with customs officials, you will find that uh, that has changed. So that's why these numbers uh, are decreasing, but it's thanks to this common effort. So 55, uh, 55 uh, cases have been worked on, concluded and uh, completed. And there's another 243 or so cases that are ongoing because uh, these cases have to be uh, properly uh, tackled, evidence has to be uh, checked and, and this process is the one that takes a little bit of time. So, so far we've uh, had good successes and we are happy with the conclusion of uh, the way that it's going. Accepting that we actually do have a forensic area uh, makes a very big difference. So when we have uh, cases, for example, for bushmeat, and it's easy for somebody to say, I'm looking at this and this is my goat, as opposed to an impala. Uh, they're able to take these uh, samples and uh, take them through this uh, laboratory and be able to actually prove that this is not domestic, this is wild, and they're able to even separate and uh, give you the specific species. Uh, we also want to use that also to do profiling of uh, rhino horn and also to do profiling of, uh, of the elephant tusks. And if you remember, uh, early in the year we, we actually did conduct a nationwide inventory of uh, rhinos and elephants. And part of that inventory included uh, doing profiling and creating a database uh, for the DNA for these uh, samples of, of elephant and rhino. So it means that again we may be able to, we'll be able to now uh, without a doubt tell you that this ivory actually doesn't belong to this particular part of the country or doesn't belong to this country. So on the one hand, the moment you're able to actually prove that this is bushmeat, this is uh, wildlife as opposed to domestic uh, animals, that increases the chances and also has propelled the, the question of how the cases are now handled and how the prosecutions are able to take them to term very quickly. The profiling of uh, offenders for law enforcement agents is something that is done all the time and uh, obviously for security reasons we may not tell you that you know Gaditu is on the list or Fran is on the list uh, but we do. We, we, we profile uh, where we have intelligence that shows that these people are involved or connected in any way. Uh, we'll be able to do that and we also counter-check it with the rest of uh, the law enforcement agents. So the National Police Service uh, will work together so that because, you know, criminals are, are also very clever. You know, they try, they, they try to do a, a crime on one sector and then they can quickly turn into another sector. So sharing that information is very significant and it's very important. And it also helps us to then understand uh, how the chain is linked because there are different players at different levels. From the person who's actually going there, the poor man who's going out there to do the actual poaching, to the person who receives those, uh, those, those trophies, the one who is, is, is taking them across, and the one who receives them uh, finally, you know, the, the various people. So that profiling is very important, and yes, it is being done, it's just that that information is then used uh, for law enforcement.